Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're doing fantastic today. My name is Tyson here with Repair My Funnel, and today we're diving into the resource of the week, which happens to be Designer. Designer is a all-in-one audiobook, actually, sorry, ebook creator, where you can essentially pull in your own text if you write it in like Google Doc, or you can take blog posts, convert them into ebooks, you can take videos, there's a bunch of different things you can use to actually create the end product but the overall goal is to create ebooks and actually they expand into audiobooks as well which uh, i do not have access to but i do know it is a possibility and i believe they use ai to do so but anyways uh the main functionality that i use it for is creating ebooks all right um there's a few different ways that you can publish this you can publish it for like amazon you can publish it as a flip book so it has some sort of graphic effect as someone scrolls through or navigates through your ebook um, it's a bunch of different things, but we're going to walk through all the different ways that you can um, actually use this tool, or I guess how to create the ebook, the whole process, uh, the different you know sources that you can use to pull in or, or use as a source, um, all that fun stuff. So with that said, let's head over to my screen here and I'll walk you through the process of everything you need to know step by step. Now to find this tool, just head over to designer.io. Designer is spelled a little bit different here as two R's and no E there at the very end. Um, so anyways, just make sure you type it in correctly. D-E-S-I-G-N-R-R.io and you'll be brought to this page right here. All right. Uh, now, when you're logged in, uh, you can go over here. I'll just take you directly inside of the dashboard. This is what you'll see as soon as you're logged into your account. Uh, obviously, pick the right plan that fits with you. I do not have the plan that includes audiobooks. Um, if you click on that, it'll show the different plans that are available. I currently have the Pro, which is just 97 a year. Um, if you want the Premium, which has the ability for you to create audiobooks, if that's something you need, uh, just know that that is it's there. It's, it's a feature. It's a capability that you can go and achieve here. All right. Uh, but um, as we're getting started, I'll just go back to the, the main page here. This is what everything will look like, or this is what it will look like when you're logged in. Um, you can start off right away by clicking on create a new ebook right here or a new audiobook. You can click on create and right inside. But everything is really focused around one end goal, which is to create something, whether it's an ebook or an audiobook. Uh, doesn't matter. Those are really the only two, two things that you'll be able to achieve here in this platform. Moving down the page, we can see all the different options that you have at your disposal when it comes to importing and, and just creating ebooks in general here. Scroll through, find the one that you're looking for, and uh, move on, all right? <laughs> you don't have to start from scratch at any point here. You can go in and take something you've already created, turn it into an ebook, and just make life super easy, all right? Uh, below that, you have all the recent projects that you've created. So everything that you you know, create over here from right inside or create using ebook, audiobook, whatever. It's going to show right here within that section of this homepage. All right. Uh, it's a pretty simplistic, nothing too crazy. On the left-hand side, you have the homepage button. You have folders or projects. You can definitely delegate and separate however you want there. Um, as of right now, there's nothing, <laughs> no folders or anything, but it will categorize everything that you've created from ebooks to audiobooks, flipbooks, all that, all that fun jive here. All right. Um, Below that, we have docs. So basically everything that you share over from blog posts or even Google Docs directly, it will show, uh, share it all or store it right here just so you can access it at any point, which is pretty cool. All right. Uh, beneath that, we have media. So any images that you're going to use, actually, you can pull things in here and use it directly inside of your design if you'd like to. Actually, I'll go and expand this a little bit. There's three other options under media. One is my uploads, the other one's collections, and the other one is favorites. Uh, so if you don't want to just pull directly from their media file right here, as far as where they're linking to, um, just know that you have the ability to go and upload your own images, right? Uh, but you have collections here. You can create your own custom collections based off of the ebook that you're working on. Uh, you can upload your own files right here. You can also do so directly inside of the ebook editor itself. So totally up to you as far as the process and procedure that you like to <laughs> like to use here in this uh, case. But anyways, let's go and create our first ebook, shall we? Uh, let's click on new ebook here at the very top. Once we do so, it should bring us to the project creator, which is basically just a prompt that it wants you to fill in to best guide the outcome as far as like the design and the ultimate uh, look and feel and everything that we're trying to achieve here. So uh, anyways, the uh, first thing we have to fill in here is the format, right? So how do we want the actual ebook to export once we're done? Um, you can decide later. Don't you don't have to make a choice right now, but um, you can choose whether it's Kindle, Flipbook, PDF. Totally up to you. I'm gonna go with Flipbook here, though, for the example. Uh, after that, just click on the next drop down, which is basically where are you pulling this information from. Did you already write it? Are you gonna write from scratch? Um, do you have a, a template that you want to start from? It's, it's totally up to you. Now, in our case, I'm gonna use a blog post. 
as the example. Uh, and we're gonna try to convert that into a mini little uh, ebook, right? So click on upload file or insert link, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on import blog from post or URL. Uh, now, let's go to our blog post here. All right, this one's all about how to set up Apple Pay for ClickFunnels 2.0. Just paste that in there, click on add, give it a second or two for it to actually pull the information in there, and then click on apply. That's it. All right, um, and then from there, you can go ahead and select the themes that you wanna use here, any any different topics that you might be touching upon for your industry. Just select it from this dropdown so it can present you with the best templates that will uh, benefit you. Anyway, let's go ahead and click on Let's Start, and it will allow us to view over the information or stuff that is pulled over from that blog post. All right, pretty, pretty similar. I don't see anything that's uh, out of place there. That's nice. But yeah, it's formatting the exact same way. As we choose a template in the next stage here, it will format it more of a um, a textbook, or sorry, not textbook, but ebook format there where it looks like an actual book. But um, yeah, go in and adjust everything. Make sure to remove anything you don't want in there. Maybe there's some extra spaces here. Go in backspace. Uh, if you have any wording that you would like to change, go and click around. You can fully customize what is currently here. Um, add images, whatever you want. But as we proceed forward, you can always go a little bit deeper as far as the edit and uh, the way everything is formatted. I'll show you that in a second. But once you've made all the adjustments, click on save and click on choose template. All right, from this next page, you can then go and select the template that you would like to use uh, that best matches what you're trying to create here, right? I'm gonna go with, I'm going to go with this guy right here. Now, before actually making the decision, if you want to, you can click around for the different pages and uh, you know see what they actually look like and how everything is going to populate. Or you can preview it in a live browser or even a PDF. Totally up to you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just select this guy and we'll proceed with customizing this. Here it goes. Give it a second to load. It's going to give me a warning because I use Grammarly. Uh, give me a moment here. Oh, no warning this time. You can see it's kind of formatting in the background there. Now, the way things are positioning are, <laughs> it's a little funky, but we can go and adjust things, pull it down. Uh, the original there, original version did not have as much text for the title of the blog itself. Uh, but yeah, you have the full table of contents here. Go and adjust like the actual page number as far as where everything is at. Oh, there you go. You see how everything is formatting itself. Uh, we can see how everything is laying itself out in between different pages. There we go. Table of contents on the actual blog post. I have another table of contents there. Uh, but scrolling down, we should see actual content. There we go. All right. So you can go and remove pages. You can add pages. If you want to adjust anything here around the pages themselves, click around and you'll see like some settings appear over here on the top right for each of the individual pages. You can clone them. You can remove them. You can lock them so no further adjustments can be made. You can reposition them. All right. So maybe you want to pull this guy up uh, to be above page six here. Perfectly fine. Just go and click on a little uh, up icon here and you should be good to go. All right, um, if you wanna add anything to any of these designs, you definitely can. So maybe like an image here, um, just go over here to the left-hand side of the page, you'll see an option for elements. Now, if you wanna add any elements to the existing design, just drag and drop it, place it wherever you want it to be put. Uh, you'll see a little bar up here, wherever you are hovering, uh, to let you know that that's where this item or element is going to actually end up, right? So if I wanna drag and drop it here, just let go of it and it will uh, place whatever element you are holding in that given area, right? Uh, if you do not see a line, like for example, if I go down here and you know, try to drop anything in this area, there's no elements already in that area or within this given page that will you know, allow us to place underneath or above. So we have to go and first add a layout. So we go over here to layout. We can go in and uh, add like a two column row, three column row. There we go. Uh, and then from there, we can add elements to the row. So if we wanna go over here and add say like a media object, I can put it in that first column of this three column row. If we wanna resize anything, just click on that specific element that we just placed there, drag around until you see the correct layout that you're looking for. Um, you can always reposition, you can move things in different places. So if you ever wanna move this to another area, just drag or click on it first. From there, you'll see a six dot little square appear for that specific element. You can drag it wherever you'd like. There we go. I think I just got rid of it completely. Oh, I put it at the bottom. <laughs> if you don't see the blue bar, just know it's not gonna place it where you want it to be. Uh, definitely make sure you're paying attention to that as you're going about this. All right, now if you wanna put like different paragraph elements or anything like that, any text on the page, there's gonna be a specific tab for that on the left-hand side. Click on text. And then from there, you can go and just drag that around, put it where you want. 
right? You can mess around with the size of whatever uh, whatever element you put on that specific section or row uh, that you're currently in. Uh, right here under textile, you can adjust like the spacing, right? Get crazy, boom. Uh, you can add a background to that given element, or in this case, the headline, and it will apply specifically to that item or element that we have selected. Same goes for any other thing on this page. So if I wanna go for, you know, go after this specific image right here, adjust the image, I can click on that, change it, I can change the background color for the image. Um, I can go over here and adjust the opacity. If I wanna make it semi-transparent, there we go. Uh, positioning, there's a bunch of settings for each of the elements. Just know that if you wanna adjust anything, click on that thing directly, that item or that element, and uh, you'll see settings appear on the left-hand side. Okay, uh, there's that. Now, there's a lot to cover when, when it comes to this editor. Just know that whatever you're looking for, look for a keyword around that item. So if you're looking for image, go to images, all right? From there, you can pull and drag and drop whatever image you're looking for into your design. Boom, there we go. If you're looking for text, go to the text section here. Uh, look for that specific item or element that is related to that uh, that thing, that <laughs> headline, paragraph, whatever it is. Um, a direct link, totally up to you, right? Um, artworks and shape, this is basically just like these curvatures that you see here. Um, see shapes there, you can draw whatever you want. You can pull in different, uh, here, I can type in anything here. Um, let's see, tree. Right, it's gonna give you some icons from Icon Finder that you can drag and drop into your design. There we go. Well, put those anywhere you want. These are free for, pretty sick. All right, uh, um, aside from that, we have layouts. We kind of touched on that before. You have to have a layout in place before you can drag and drop any of the elements. So you have elements here, you have text, you have images, art way, artwork and shapes. These are all gonna be essentially like elements. And in order to place those, you have to have a layout to place them in. Okay, so if you want to add something to this area right here, you can either drag it under an existing element, or again, you can go over here and create a new two column row on that specific area. And then you can, after that, click on uh, or drag and drop any of these elements into that two column row, that layout we just put on the page. Okay. We covered a lot in a little bit of time. <laughs> if you have any specific questions around any of this, just know that uh, you can comment down below at any point and I'll point you in the right direction. But um, after you have a design that you are happy with and you're just excited that it looks so awesome, uh, you are ready to move forward and publish. So over here in the bottom left side of the screen, you're gonna see an option for save and publish. Okay, if you wanna preview first, click on a little eyeball icon here and it'll allow you to preview. Boom, just like that. But if you're ready to publish and you wanna put this out into the world, you need to click on publish right here. And then from there, you can select the actual file type that you would like to export this as, right? So you can choose any of these options here, uh, except for <laughs> exports HTML or audiobooks, unless you pay for that specific plan. But uh, for me, I'm gonna go with this guy right here, live ebook. This is a little flip book. It has a nice little animation. I'll click on export. Give it a moment or two, and after that, you should be able to go in and uh, view it. If it's a large ebook, it does take a moment or two. In my case, it was a very small uh, little prompt that we gave it, or a small uh, blog post there, so nothing too wild. All right, so we'll just go to the live version. Now, this is their live version of the ebook, so uh, you would have to use this URL wherever you would want to place it. Um, whether it's in a funnel, a landing page, whatever, you can go over here or, or just directly to somebody. You can just send it to them. They can view it uh, live whenever they want. All right, but if they want to turn pages, they just go over here, click on the little corner, bottom left, bottom right, um, totally up here, sorry, top and bottom left or right, and uh, they can experience it right there and then, right on the page, all right? I know there's nothing crazy going on on this page, but anyways, that is it. Uh, that is how these eBooks are created. That's how you can create your eBooks. Now, if you wanna go and republish it as any other file type, you definitely can. Just click on the publish icon again, or the button there, and then select the file type that you'd like to use. Um, after that, export, go through that same process, and there you go. You now have a eBook in whatever file type you desire. All right, uh, one thing we didn't really touch on here is the fact that you need to go in and actually add a title here. Uh, it will pull it from the actual page itself or from the file or 
um, link or whatever it is that you're using as the initial source. Uh, but if you want to adjust that and customize that right here, just make sure to you know, type it in, put the author name and uh, a short description if you'd like to, and then export after that. Otherwise, the information that you um, are presenting to the world is gonna be a little bit different than what you actually want. Now, if this is a very large project, you're probably gonna come and go and, and you'll be back and forth throughout a couple of days. So whenever you leave the editor here, just make sure to go over here to save in that bottom left-hand side of the screen. So that way, any progress that you've made is saved and, and <laughs> it's kept for you. Uh, so you're not sitting there uh, sad because all of your adjustments are gone. Uh, just click on that. You should be good to go. It'll save everything. It'll make sure that your place is uh, booked here and uh, you should be good to go. If you ever want to leave the actual editor, click on the back arrow in the bottom left side of the screen and it'll take you back to the homepage there. I didn't save it. That's why I was getting a little pop up there. But uh, in your case, if you save, you should be good to go. Alrighty, that is it. That's a wrap when it comes to designer. Uh, again, the main functionality for this is publishing ebooks and audiobooks. Uh, if you would like to dive in, just go to designer D sorry, designer.io, D E S I G N R R.io. And I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. But um, yeah, all right. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have any questions around the platform, feel free to let me know down below and I'll point you in the right direction. If I don't know the answer, I'm sure I can find it. But anyways, thank you for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I will talk to you in the next video.